Discover inner money game. Most people know the difference between inner game and outer game. Some believe inner game isn't such a big deal. In fact, plenty of people hate the idea completely. So much that they don't even consider it worthy enough to even discuss. This, I believe, is our cognitive dissonance in action. Our cognitive dissonance is a very powerful ego protection tool. A collection of biases that, like many other instincts, was very, very necessary in our harsh ancient past. For example, a common movie trope is some character has to walk somewhere. But they have to be very quiet, very low profile. Otherwise, the monsters will notice them and kill or eat them. The problem is there are a lot of horrifying things that may cause an unexpected reaction, which will make them lose their cool, which will invite the attention of the monsters. So they have to purposely not notice all the scary things around them so they can make their escape. Consider this to be the main function of our very flexible cognitive dissonance. To not let us even acknowledge the dangerous stuff going on all around us. To help us to focus on the task up ahead. So why do some absolutely ignore even the existence of inner game? Inner game involves things like confidence, self-esteem, which involve deeper beliefs and plenty of childhood beliefs and experiences. To acknowledge inner game means to realize you might have to work on inner game, which means you might need to face some of your demons. Yikes. So plenty of guys believe inner game and things like personality do not exist. This is why plenty of guys think looks is way more important than it really is. But inner game does indeed exist. Your belief about yourself, what you think you're capable of, what you think is likely going to happen in your future are very critical for success. This is not just true with things like game, but all things involving social skills. This is also why most too-good-to-be-true P.T. Barnum-type sucker ideas are associated with anything related to money or social skills or game. All these involve talking to strangers. At least, that's the perception. But game and seduction are likely the hardest things to learn. Because for most of human history, men and women just kind of organically hooked up. So the idea of consciously spitting game and deliberately creating attraction is not a natural thing. Yes, it can be learned like many other things that aren't instinctive. Playing instruments, speaking different languages, even playing video games are not natural things that can easily be learned. But one thing is very natural and has been going on since the beginning of time. And that is everything surrounding the idea of money. Making money is natural. Getting paid is natural. Since the dawn of time, people have been making and selling things to each other. And making money also has an inner game and an outer game element. And if you rebuild your inner money game, your outer money game will take care of itself. To learn more, visit mindpersuasion.com forward slash financial dash brilliance.